everyone and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. So a lot of people have been requesting that I react to the new girl of the year, Kavi Sharma, um, the theater kid doll. So I talked a little bit about her on my channel before when I was talking about the similarities between her and the video that I posted last year of the my dream girl of the year and I wanted her to be a theater kid. And I didn't talk too much about her collection because at the time I recorded that video, her collection hadn't been released yet, but I thought I would share item by item what I think about her collection. And let's just say, I'm a little disappointed. So very first off, we have um, Kavi in her meat outfit. Now, I don't mind it too much with the hat. It's not, here's the thing. I hated her meat outfit before because I thought it looked really cheap and the materials looked really cheap. And when you're spending money on a hundred dollar doll, you need it to be like high quality. And I feel like, I still feel like this outfit is not very high quality. I mean, I haven't seen it in person, but just the textures of the materials don't look that um, very expensive. I don't know how else to describe it. But I at least like it with the hat a little bit more because the pink of the shoes match her pink of her hat. So, and then the pink of on her bag makes a little bit more sense. I do really like her bag with the purse. It definitely looks like something I would wear. Um, I love the little star detail. Very, very cute. And yes, her outfit does remind me of Marisol, but you got to remember Marisol came out in 2005. So it's been almost like 20 years since she came out. So I think it's okay that she looks a little bit like Marisol because it's been a long time since Marisol was in the girl of the year line. So I do really like the little tiny elephant that she comes with. Um, I was watching Doll Studio by Chris and he said that the tiny little elephant has a specific name for it. And I, I don't, he didn't know the name and I don't know the name. So I, um, so I, I don't know what that is, but I would love to learn more about that little elephant. Maybe we'll talk about it in her books and her little my journal book that would be so cute and so exciting i do really like her hat it does say ag on it it's it's interesting because it feels kind of a little bit like courtney owning a molly doll so it's like does she recognize she's in the american girl universe like that's that's interesting apparently the tip of her shoes are made of plastic but the pink is not um I still am a little bit disappointed with this outfit because I think they could have made it a little bit more stylish, but it just kind of looks like a lot of colors that don't necessarily flow too well together. Next we have a set that I really, really love, and that is Kavi's backstage set. And um, I really like this piece. If I had space for it, I probably would get it, but I, I literally don't have space for it. And it comes with this like little chair, like director, oh, whoops. It comes with this little director chair and the vanity desk, which I said I wanted in my Dream Girl of the Year video. I love the plastic pink shelf. Um, and I love the rolling rack and I love it leads to the stage and there's a microphone. I just feel like so many little cute details and you get a lot of accessories for this outfit. Then we have Kavi's backstage trunk for 18 inch dolls, which this thing is so cute. I mean, look at it. It's like, if you see her next to the trunk, it's actually a pretty decent size. And I love the little accessories you, you get with it. Kind of reminds me of the one that Rebecca had when she was first released. Um, I remember that one being quite expensive though. I remember it being released and it'd be like, oof. And this one is pretty expensive. Yeah, $125. And you get this outfit and a lot of pieces with it. So you get like shoes and tights and a lot of different like costume pieces, which is really cool. But I do think for $125, that's a bit much considering that's more money than spending it on a doll. So I think that that's a little bit pricey, but overall I love the pink on the inside and the sparkles and the black trunk. So again, this piece is not disappointing. Dog, which is another piece that I'm slightly disappointed by because it looks similar to Sage's dog. However, Sage's dog, you know, like the materials look different. Like this dog has a very cheap look to it. Um, it looks like very cheap um, 
like material i don't know if it's like yarn or something like that look it just like the fabric of the dog doesn't look that high quality and i know that this dog is probably like 30 dollars. so <laughs> with this little tiny dog it doesn't seem worth it to me so i'm a little bit disappointed with the dog next we have kavi's performance outfit now this outfit i like parts of it like i like the pink pants and i like well, I, maybe I like most of it, but just not all together at once. So I do like the the fuzzy multicolored fur coat. So, so cute. That's something I would love in my collection. I was a huge fan of Corinne's purple coat that she had in her skating set or whatever it's called. And I do like the sparkly sequins shirt and I do like the pink pants, but I don't feel like it works all together. And I definitely do not like the shoes at all. I'm not a huge fan of shoes because it feels kind of strange to me that she would wear like a sweater to keep warm and then sandals. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Again, maybe it's like super trendy. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. So maybe that's what they're going for. Next we have Kavi's songwriting accessories and I really love the purple desk. I love how, you know, simple yet chic of a design it is. And I like the matching stool. However, I don't feel like knowing American girls and how they sit, I don't think they would sit very well on that stool. Um, I think they would just fall off of it. I do really like the keyboard, such a cute detail. And then the other, you know, accessories that you get with like the laptop. I do think a lot of kids would really like the bright blue laptop. So I do like how much purple there is in her collection. I think that was something I mentioned in my Dream Girl of the Year video too, that I would love for her to have like purple and golds. And that's kind of what we got with Kavi. So that's very exciting. Okay, next we have my favorite outfit of her entire collection and that is the Bollywood dance costume now this is so cute I mentioned before that Bollywood is just something that I'm interested in and it's very cool I haven't seen any Bollywood movies but it looks like so cool since I love musicals and things like that and I used to really be into like k-pop and things like that so I definitely am interested and I also study anthropology so I'm like I'm really interested in other cultures from around the world so um, since I love musicals I love learning about musicals across the world so I think this outfit is like really interesting to me and I love the blue colors and the red and the yellow I think color theory wise this outfit is very good because it has you know yellow blue and red so it looks really cool and it pops so if I was gonna get any outfit from her collection it would definitely be this one because it's so cute and I just I love the sequins of it this is definitely one of my favorite outfits so we have Covey's uh, pajamas and I really really like these pajamas I love the rainbow slippers I love the rainbow stars it's a little bit little kid like but I do like really really like it like it reminds me of going to the science center in Toronto and like all the cheesy star things and it just oh this is like so cute and I love the little bow if I was gonna get another outfit from her collection it would probably be this one and it's pajamas tend to be some of the cheaper items that you can get in the american girl collection so i'm probably going to end up with this item because i really do like these pajamas so i'm probably going to get these too eventually i don't know when though next we have her yoga outfit which i'm on the fence about getting because it is so so cute and it definitely has cute pieces too if you want to mix and match and i did mention that i wanted a yoga set for my dolls and this is definitely a very good one. Oh, does it have a little elephant Oh, I never realized that before. It has like a little elephant. So again, that's not disappointing. So cute. Um, such a cute outfit. A little bit reminds me of Isabel from 2014 because didn't she have like a purple wrap and then like a yellow uh, dress. So like the color theme reminds me of Isabel a little bit, which is okay because again, Isabel came out almost 10 years ago. Um, yeah, so nine years ago, Isabel came out. So having something similar to her is fine by me. So this is another outfit that I would consider getting in my collection um, just because I think it's so cute and I've started to get into yoga. So I think this would be a really cute outfit. Next, we have the yoga gear. So like the yoga mat and the, you know, the different poses and the book and the bag. I think that this is pretty cool, um, but knowing American Girl, it's probably quite expensive. Yeah, it's $30, so I mean, $30 isn't that bad, but I know with 
the Canadian exchange rate, it's probably more like $40. So I wouldn't spend $40 on this yoga mat considering I can get a yoga mat for myself for like 14 bucks. So yeah, I wouldn't get a yoga mat for my dolls for 40. So some of the reasons I find Covey disappointing is, you know, I feel like there could have been more musical theater elements. I feel like she's doing a little bit of songwriting and she's doing a little bit of yoga, which yoga is cool, but like all these different things instead of just really focusing on the theater kid thing like i wish that they maybe had a like a like the bollywood costume but then also like a theater costume um like somebody said that she really likes wicked so like maybe you know she had like a wicked witch costume or something like that or um maybe the more like i mentioned in my dream doll or girl of the year video i mentioned i wanted like a bag like i can't have rehearsal or like some cute theater saying or maybe even more of like the comedy and tragedy masks like just little things like that so i'm a little bit disappointed that she feels very similar to every other girl of the year instead of like being unique to the theater kid theme like if you were to tell me that like if i had to guess what she was i would assume that she's like a dancer or a songwriter i wouldn't assume that she's a theater kid like they really didn't explore the theater kid theme too much if that makes sense like definitely she's a performing arts doll but not really like a theater or broadway focused i'm not really getting the broadway aesthetic and vibes from her i'm getting the performance vibes from her but i'm really not getting the broadway theme which is what they wanted to go with that's why i'm not like absolutely in love with this doll i'm still considering getting her i think i'm probably going to get her i'm leaning towards getting her because I really love the theater kids stuff and I do really like the Bollywood stuff and the yoga stuff's pretty cool too, but just I wish she was more into the musical theater, just like I am because I've been obsessed with musical theater since like 2016. It's been a long time. So those are my opinions on the girl of the year 2023. Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below and I'll see you all next time.